Okay, so in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to adjust your level of detail, our LOD, um, transition distance. So the asset I'm using here is from uh, Speed Tree for a UE4 subscription. Um, I think it's it's 19.99 or something a month, um, and it's well well worth it. Um, I know in previous videos there we've been making our own foliage, um, but uh, it's so easy to use Speed Tree for UE because. Um, with the assets and um, they provide everything is done for you so all the LODs are done the textures are all um, set up and Atlas as I was talking about Atlas and in the last couple of uh, foliage videos so they're automatically Atlas and the LODs are set up for you and you can also uh, have dynamic wind um, which will automatically be set up as well you just add a, um, a wind direction actor within the editor here so um, in 414, UE414, um, they've taken some of the Simply Gone plug-in technology and incorporated it directly into the engine. So um, it's basically an automatic LOD system. So traditionally, you would um, build your LODs in your external package. So when you have your, your finished model, um, you will just optimize the finish model down um, vert count or try count wise um, and then you would just import them either here just right click on the static mesh level of detail and this already has um, two that are automatically created from the speed tree export and then LOD3 would be an available slot if you wanted to add another one in so you just import that there and it will automatically show up here in the static mesh editor so you can see here um, LOD0 is um, your sort of hero static mesh piece and then you can see here it's um, 3000 verts or thereabouts and then LOD1, 2, 3 and so on and you can see um, you know this is the last lot that will be at a distance so that's uh, 254 and that's 939 so if I close this out you'll see what I'm talking about here and um, this is our lot zero so the idea of of LODs is you know the further away from the uh, the camera or the player and as it is um, it's going to be optimized both textures will be mipped and geometry will be culled so you can see here as it starts to fade and for for something like this where you might have loads of foliage altogether you might notice this as you get further away because the, the other foliage might cover it up but if it was just a piece on its own you can see here that you know that that's not great the transition's pretty bad and this is all in screen space based on uh, the player's point of view or the camera's point of view so the way to do it is just to uh open up the stack mesh editor again and you can also um, have a look up here and it gives you all your details so there's lot 0 3000 uh, verts and has the screen size here and you can see that's changing obviously based on the screen space so as we zoom out you can see the lot goes up and the triangles and verts go down until eventually then that's the last lot uh, LOD2 so by default here um, the screen size is greyed out so I just want to come down here to um, LOD settings and auto compute LOD and just disable that and now these become available and you can see here uh, screen size 1 for LOD0 and then it drops down so if we zoom out to just where it's starting to fade out and then we can set this to say I'm sorry point one um, and then set this down you can set that right down to zero it doesn't really matter and then you can see that it doesn't fade out as quickly because we've dropped the screen size down um, so that's basically all there is to it. Um, you know, you 
you can play with these depending on your asset and um, you can play with these settings here <coughs> excuse me and um, so this is the probably the best place to do it is in the static mesh editor because you have all uh, the details available to you here and you can do it in real time so as I say in 414 um, with the Simply Gone Tech and um, there's other existing automatic LOD uh, creation tools that you can use and also there's hierarchical LOD in which is LOD in for uh, uh, groups of meshes within a scene or entire scenes based on a radius and you can um, you can bake that stuff out and it um, automatically does it for you as well deals with textures and uh, all the rest of it so um that's basically it um you can also see here that's going to auto lot or you can just choose to look at um them specifically so here's a quick example in max to better kind of explain what lods are so this would be lod zero um or hero mesh if if you like so we just export that as um you know as our static mesh which um, would be lod zero and then this would essentially be lod one so we just export that as lod one and this would be lod two and we export that similarly and um uvs and light map uvs are, are kept so um, you would obviously have uv this um, first so that's basically what they are so over and unreal i've just imported lod zero um, the high poly one and then we're just going to right click on that level of detail import lod and we're going to import lod one and here it is here so that's already been important it doesn't show up here because it's stored within and uh, the mesh itself essentially I'll show you now in a second and you can see here it's changed to LOD 1 because of the distance of the camera so if I move in you can see here it's changed to the other one the original one and I'm just going to right click this again level of detail and import LOD 2 and import that and now it's changed again so I'm going to open up the static mesh editor and zoom right in and you can see now this is a case where we definitely want to change those settings so here's all our LODs and these are the screen size settings that are automatically generated so remember you come down here to uh, LOD settings and disable auto compute LODs and now I still wanted to be full res there LOD zero and sorry LO it's the, that's the wrong one there I'm just gonna put that to zero and put this down to point one and put that up to point um, zero five and you can see where you know you can play with these transitions so rather than that popping there I'll raise that back up so you just want to play with these um the more lod's you have obviously the um, the smoother the transitions are going to be so yeah that's that's basically all there is to it um, and remember those um, in this drop down here like that's the base load and then it'll tell you the amount that you have and also these uh, settings here so remember when you import those LODs they're going to be stored within the mesh in a sense um, and you'll find them in the stack mesh editor so they won't show up here in your content browser and that's pretty much all there is to it so I hope this was useful cheers thanks